Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here, and you guys owe me for this one. I was actually in champ select of a solo queue game about getting ready to play. I'm scrolling Twitter at the same time. I see some very, very big news coming out. So, of course, I have to dodge my solo queue game to get on here, report this news to you guys. So, uh, I lost some LP, so hopefully we can run this video up. Hopefully you guys watch it, enjoy it, you know, like, comment, all that good stuff. Um, but we are here today to talk about some very, very big news regarding reckless uh he recently uh this is just a couple of minutes ago like 45 minutes ago tweeted out this video um no caption no title nothing but it's kind of blowing up uh 400k views already in the first 45 minutes which is insane i mean that is crazy reach especially for uh league of legends esports it's not like we're dropping you know million view videos all the time or anything like that um obviously reckless is a huge brand he's a huge name he's a superstar um even though you know maybe his recent results and uh kind of play haven't exactly backed that up people still love him he is still one of the best of the best of all time he's a reason why so many people love the lec why so many people got into you know being a fanatic fan or being a league of legends fan or whatever he's um, the player that so many people coming up in the European environment wanted to be. He was the role model, you know, their hero, all that stuff. Um, so he has crazy reach. This got crazy views. Let's see what Reckless had to say in the short two minute video. Hello, everyone. This is my 31st take, <laughs> and I am not scripting it anymore. Because I've tried to, yeah. and I'm not getting anywhere. Not scripting it, so definitely the way to go. I'm just going to go with the flow. Um, long story short, I am re rolling to support. I know it sounds really crazy. It might, and it definitely does sound a little bit crazy, but it's not so insane, so uninspected. If if Reckless hadn't already um, considered roll swapping to support, or um, you know, if there hadn't already been rumors of that over the past couple of years, really, but really in this last off season where it sounded like he was very, very close to trying to play support, um, this would be much more crazy. This would be much more insane. We also just very recently, of course, have seen um, another uh, AD carry who's kind of followed a, a similar career path in Sven, role swapping from AD carry to support. So this isn't unprecedented. This isn't absolutely as insane as it could have been, but it is still very crazy. But yes, Reckless announced in this video that he is officially going to be role swapping to support um, after just one split back in the LEC as an AD carry. Might be but I've had a feeling for a while now, and I guess this year kind of confirmed it, that I, I'm i I'm a really good AD carry, I think, but I've reached a point where I'm kind of just treading water. I don't know if that's only a Swedish saying, but basically what it means is that you, you try really hard, but you're not getting anywhere. And that for me is AD carry. I, I, I've done it for 12 years and I'm kind of stuck in the same place. So, I think the best course of action is to revamp myself, to try something new. And now, I think this is interesting. Some of the things he's saying, obviously, he says, you know, treading water, which is, of course, an expression, not just in Sweden. But, you know, he says he's treading water a little bit. And I can definitely get why, um, you know, he's had some frustrations, um, especially over the past couple of years, you know, after he had so much success early on in his career, going to Worlds all the time, uh, winning LEC titles, all this stuff. And now for the first time, really, in his career, he's facing some adversity. Things aren't so easy. He can't just join any team and win a championship. He can't just automatically take Fnatic to Worlds. Um, and his thing is, wow, you know, I must be treading water. I must be hitting a ceiling. I must be plateauing after 12 years or eight years or 10 years or whatever. This is as good as I'm going to get. And I'm not getting any better and people are passing me up, um, which I think is fair. But also it's, I don't know. I, we don't see a ton of this in traditional sports. I feel like, like, yeah, traditional sports has some, uh, things where like you need to be getting results all the time, all the time, all the time. But really at the end of the day in competition, only one team can win the championship each split. Only one 80 carry can win the championship each split. And there's going to be eras. There's going to be time periods. There's going to be years of, you know, other people winning and other people being more successful. You know, look at like the NBA or look at the NFL or look at, um, you know, soccer or whatever. If somebody doesn't have like... If somebody doesn't have success just for a couple splits or a couple of years or whatever, that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to change positions or totally switch up their game or start over at square zero because, you know, Reckless talks about, hey, hitting that ceiling, hitting that plateau and feeling like he needs something different uh, so he can grow and develop and all this stuff. And like, yes, he will see a ton of growth and development from role swapping to support, of course. But that's because he's going to be starting at zero, or he's going to be starting pretty damn close to zero or whatever. So, yes, he will get that sense of progression and getting better and everything, but, I mean... 
is he ever going to get uh, uh, to as support to where he is as AD carry? I don't know. Is he ever going to be a championship level or world class level support? I don't know. And if he does do that stuff, if he does end up finding success, is that going to be because he role swapped to support? You know, Sven has found a lot of success role swapping to support because it allowed him to fit in a roster that was very, very strong and good that he wouldn't have been able to figure uh, to fit into if he was an AD carry. Now, is that the case for Reckless? I don't know, not necessarily. I don't think he has a team lined up at this point. And Sven, you know, wasn't going to roll swap unless it was to fit into this Cloud9 team that he felt could be very, very successful. So to me, some of this, obviously Reckless knows best and, you know, do what you're going to do, do what makes you happy. But I don't know if this roll swap makes a ton of sense to me. It feels like, um, you know, he's frustrated by not having a ton of results and stuff. But again, he's only played one split in the LEC since coming back. Um, he had the split with G2, obviously, where, where things didn't go as great. But it just seems to me like he's facing adversity um, for the first time in his career. And he doesn't really necessarily know how to deal with it or face it. And his option, uh, you, you know, the thing that makes the most sense in his head is to roll swap. And I get where that's coming from. I just think there's a lot of flawed logic there. I think that, um, you know, some of it points to the bigger issues with like the esports win right now or you're trash or either like the best or you're you might as well roll swap at that point why are you even playing 80 carry if it's not to you know win a championship every single year and go to worlds every single year um you know it, it, it's a lot of the toxic traits and toxic parts that uh, we've seen in LL esports for the past couple of years but again you know reckless he knows uh himself best he knows what's going to make him happy and uh, obviously you don't want to live life with regrets or anything like that but it just seems to me like he's constantly all over the place you know he's with fanatic then he leaves him then he's back with fanatic then he leaves him now he's back with fanatic now he's roll swapping like he's just constantly chasing these immediate results and this immediate success and uh otherwise he's you know on to the next bigger shiny thing all the time um, rather than, you know, necessarily sticking things out. But, hey, you know, we'll see what happens. And I really believe that I am able to pull this off. I am <laughs> I'm the Janna, after all. Uh, obviously, I will have to do so much work on the melee supports, even on the range supports, just in general. But I, I believe that's a strength of mine anyway, the work ethic part. And game knowledge is there, communication is there. So there's honestly no reason for me not to be able to pull this off. Um, I will go into detail, much more detail some other time, kind of what I did after the winter split on a stream. But for now, I will just leave it at that. Um, super exciting. I, I hope I can I can pull this off and, and yeah, use all of my previous experiences to something really great, something I haven't been able to do on the AD carry role for a while. And uh, yeah, let's see. <laughs> let's see where this journey journey takes me. I. I hope you share it with me. So, uh, yeah, definitely huge news in the world of League of Legends Esports. Reckless, uh, after speculation and rumors over the past couple years, has now officially announced his role swap to support. Uh, I'm going to be very, very curious to see how this works out, obviously. Uh, it could end up being a, a huge success. It could end up being um, you know, a huge blunder in, in the career of Reckless. But, um, hey, if your heart and your brain and everything is telling you to go one direction, I think you got to take some chances. Uh, so, hey, coming in the summer split, whether it's in the LEC, the ERLs, or wherever, we are going to see Reckless trying to play support. And we'll have to see how this goes. Definitely going to be a big story to follow throughout the rest of 2023 and beyond. But that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate that so, so much. Hopefully catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.